So I've been shooting with the uh, Fujifilm XF 33mm f1.4 for about two years now. This lens is the longest tenure lens in my collection. Usually I get bored easily and cycle through lenses, uh, like, you know, selling them for something new and so for something newer and exciting. Surprisingly, the XF 33mm has defied this pattern. It remains one of my favorite lenses in the XF lineup. In today's video, I just want to share my two year long term review of this lens, exploring why I love it and why I believe it stands out as as one of the best XF lenses Fuji has to offer. And you'll get a better understanding of why I would never sell this lens. Hopefully not. <laughs> Over the two years, I did not baby this lens. It has accompanied me on countless shoots, from client work to travel adventures and portrait sessions. I put it through its paces and the build has held up remarkably well. The only visible signs of its age are on the aperture ring and the focusing ring where the paint is chipping away. While it may not look brand new anymore, the lens itself remains robust and reliable. Despite the cosmetic wear, I've, enc I've encountered zero problems or issues with its performances. One notable feature is its weather sealing, which has proven clutch during shoots in light rain, hot climates, and even sandy beaches. The lens has been uh, my reliable companion and its solid build gives me confidence in various challenging uh, conditions. Now, in addition to reviewing native lenses on this channel, I also I also review a lot of third-party lenses, typically these budget-friendly Chinese manual lenses. These lenses offer something unique. It offers character, often resulting in softer or less focused images due to the manual focus. This lens stands out with its incredible sharpness and its excellent image rendering. Like, it's incredibly sharp. When transitioning from manual focusing lenses to the XF 33mm, it, the difference is night and day. And compared to the manual lenses, this XF 33mm boasts impressive micro contrast without feeling overly clinical. I even said that, you know, there is a little bit of character to the 33mm f1.4. It's not, it's not, it's not overly clinical. It's not overly sterile. Like there is a soft, there is a look to it and I do like it. <laughs> and at f1.4, it delivers beautiful bokeh, a departure from the busier bokeh that you find in the XF 35mm f1.4. I'm not a fan of the bokeh on the 35mm f1.4. I do like the bokeh on the 33. The bokeh is remarkably smooth, adding a delightful touch to my images. Now, stopping down the lens results in a significantly sharper image, especially paired with the X-T5's 40 megapixel sensor. It's a pixel peeper's dream, revealing intricate details and resolution. What Now, what makes this lens a favorite of mine is the quality of the photos that it helps create. As a standard 50 millimeter full frame equivalent, it strikes a balance between tightness and width, providing excellent subject separation. Now, despite being considered a boring focal length, in my opinion, I know that I can rely on this lens to capture great shots. When the stakes are high and I need that one perfect shot, I think I would choose the XF 33mm f1.4 because I'm just so used to it. I know that if even if I don't shoot with it for like the next like six months, I know that whenever I pick up that lens, I can guarantee that I'm going to get something great with that lens because that's how well I know this lens. This is how well I know this focal length. Autofocus, particularly when uh, paired with X-T5, is impressive. It's quick and snappier than on previous X-Trans 4 sensor cameras that I've used, such as the X-S10, the X-T3, and so on. It locks on to focus like a hawk, and overall, I am highly satisfied with its performance. By now, you're probably aware of my love for this lens as I shared my thoughts about it through sev several videos already. Through the images that I showed you guys, I hope you can see why I hold this lens in such high regard. While it does lean towards the pricier side, I believe that the overall package justifies the cost. The image quality is exceptional. The build quality is great despite the paint wear. It's solid. Uh, with the weather sealing and the inclusion of linear motors for the quick autofocusing, it's a lens that ticks all the right boxes. And don't forget that this lens is made to resolve the 40 megapixel X-Trans sensor as well. And I do, and it does it so well. I do see the re resolution. I, I do see the resolving power. I do see like so much detail with this lens. Now, I anticipate this lens will remain a staple in my kit for a very long time. 
It's becoming a go-to for my standard focal length needs. And I generally enjoy the image rendering, contrast, and the beautiful bokeh that it produces. And for all those reasons, I don't think I would ever get rid of it unless, of course, they release a Mark III version or an updated version of this lens that surpasses this one by leaps and bounds. And I think that would be something that seems quite challenging for the near future. Who knows? So there you have it. For those interested in this lens, you can find the links down in the description below. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more Fuji content. This has been my Fujifilm XF 33mm f1.4 two-year long-term review. Or what do you guys think of this lens? Let me know your thoughts down below and thanks so much.